Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. You know, folks, doing a new show every week, we can't pick the weather. Today, the wind chill is 21 below zero, so I decided to come to Sand Bay Beach Resort and fish with Dale Strohshine because we will fish in comfort. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Beautiful. Oh, is that awesome? It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Oh my god! Hey guys, come on in, John and Blake. Oh, look at this, Blake. Dale, how you doing, buddy? Come on in, close that door. It is cold out there. This is nice. Isn't this gorgeous? I'll tell you what, Dale, this is like like the Ritz Carlton on the ice. But Dale, I want to tell you, buddy, you got a, this down pat. We don't even get cold from the time we leave, we leave the resort till we get here, do we? You drive up, you can either stay overnight, you can come into a warm facility, change your clothes, because obviously you don't want to have your, all your warm weather gear on as you're driving up. And uh, you can change in our lounge if you want, just relax a little bit, and then or stay overnight, and then you come walking out, hop in the machine, we close the cab up, we drive out here, everything, the heat's on, everything, it's enclosed. And uh, it, you're right, makes it really nice. You don't have to worry about the elements. And we're fishing whitefish today, and I, I think this is great for, for fishermen, ice fishermen, who don't want to go out and buy all the equipment and do all of that. They want to come out, catch some fish. You've got the rods and reels and everything for these folks, and you teach them how to do it. I'm going to say this, trust me on this again now, because here's what I'm going to say. Whitefish will be the absolute toughest fish that you'll come up against, John. They're very, very difficult to catch. And until you get it figured out, once you get it figured out, then it becomes very simplistic. So that's why, like when I'm jigging, you know, what we'll do is we'll keep the line draped over our finger like this, because what it does is it helps you feel that change of resistance immediately, instead of it coming up through the line, through the rod, into the handle, and then into your hand. This way, when you come up, when, when you get that change of resistance from the bite, you'll feel it immediately load up on your finger. And that's where you need to set the hook. Well, we're going to catch some, right? I, yeah, I hope so. Folks, Jiffy has completely revolutionized the electric ice fishing auger. My buddies are really impressed. Yeah, John, at 80 volts, this is absolutely the most powerful electric ice auger ever made. I guide seven days a week, and with this auger, I can get 25% more holes than any other electric ice auger. What I really like is these ripper blades cut through ice like butter, and they stay sharp for a very long time. Even the battery is fast. This thing charges in an hour. For more information, folks, you can go to jiffyonice.com. Hi, I'm Len Groom, Technical Product Manager for Power Sports at Amsoil, and as you can see, I'm standing in front of a UTV. Now, when we start looking at some of these UTVs, the first thing that we notice is you can't see the engine anymore. That's because it's hidden way underneath, behind the seats, in front of the box. That means that the engine could tend to run a little bit hotter. That means that you need to not only have a good, high-quality synthetic oil in it, you need to make sure that you're changing it. Now, if you're somebody that stores your UTV during the winter, you should be changing that oil in the fall before it goes into storage. If you don't, however, if you're running it all through the winter, be sure you're changing that oil at least seasonally, if not a little bit more. That way you can ensure that you're protected and the machine will do the work that you need it to do. Yay, Yay, look at that. Blake 
What's going on there, Dale? How do you, now, these fish are really slippery, folks, so yeah, how do you grab them, Dale? Mid-body's mid a must. Mid-body? Okay. Yep, because All otherwise, right. they'll, we just had a hook in the hand the other day. Oh, gosh. And, and, uh, so and they're slippery. Ooh, it's coming There up. we go. Nice. Our first whitey fish of the day. <laughs> All right. John, there hang we on, go. hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, get them up there. All yeah. right, there you go. We're tangled in each other, John. Our, oh, well, we're fishing in 60 feet of water, folks. So, now, is that an average size there, Dale? Yeah, I would say that's... It's close to average, but okay. here's the key. I use this kind of their dorsal as a handle, so when I hang on to them, I'm gonna grab them right here, because otherwise they'll squirt out, they're so slimy. And one thing about f uh, the whitefish, John, they have a very high oil content. Okay. So uh, a couple of things with that. One is they're great for smoking, and number two for pickling, they're phenomenal. And the advantage uh, with the pickling is uh, when you do that, it'll take out the Y bones. Hanging on. Ooh, <laughs> hey. Ooh, this one feels pretty good. I'll yeah. tell you what, folks, these things really fight too, don't they, Dale? They're really a fun fish. They you know totally I mean? are. They, they give you a good tussle. Of course, they're great to eat. Yeah. And now uh, watch Seems how Dale... Like it's a little better fish, John. Yeah, watch how Dale grabs this guy. There he is. Okay. Yeah, so again... That's how you yeah. grab him, right? Just got to grab him mid-body and like, oh, that hook came right out. <laughs> a little yeah. better fish, John. And you know, right, you did mention the eating quality, but you know, um, my photographer, Ryan, you know, over the, he was out in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. Yeah. And he saw whitefish on the menu. How much was it, Ryan? Thirty-five bucks. About Thirty. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-five bucks for a whitefish in Las Vegas. So obviously the restaurants serve them all over the country. They must be pretty good. Yeah, they are. And, and I'll tell you one thing too, about fish. You know, open water versus ice fishing changes textures of fish and just to give you an example open water whitefish it's good but you put it under the ice where the water is 32 degrees and it brings a whole different texture to this fish hard it's much better it's got a better quality and you can see we got these little soft-sided bags john like i said that you just you can get these at costco or sam's club or wherever and uh when you keep them outside, when you're fishing outside, right. carry one of these, and as you catch them, throw them in here because your taste quality will increase tremendously. And the problem is when you freeze them outside, when you bring them back to thaw, and you guys know and gals know what I'm talking about, they turn to jelly yes. because of that all that high that oil, and it makes it difficult to clean them. So this will help you tremendously. Hey, hey. assistant guide Mark just came in to join oh, us. Here. Was it cold out there, buddy? Oh, she's nice and cold. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice one there, buddy. There you go. Hold them, hold them out. Hold them out. Blake, no, I don't. She's stuck on the bottom of the ice. Okay. Let's, let's see. Now, that is a pretty nice size whitefish. And, Mark, you know, you come out here with Dale every day, and you guys move shacks around and all that. But I think what's really unique about your guide service, you actually help the customers learn how to do this. Well, absolutely. We spend the majority of the time in the shacks with them, working with them, making sure that they got the technique right. And how many of these can you keep a day? It is 10 per person. 10 per person? Yes, it is. And you know, if folks want to get them clean, there's a you know, there's actually a cleaning service uh, around yeah, here. Yeah, Lindell's. Lindell's uh, Fish Cleaning. Uh, 250 a fish. They uh, go through, they scale them, they flay them, take the pin bone out, and uh, clean them and vacuum seal them. Hey, congratulations to you and your wife. Tell them what, what just happened. Thank you. Uh, we have a... One week old baby, uh, Hannah Marie Jackson. And, and and your wife's letting you come out and fish? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got one up. All right, way to go there, Blake. I better reel up. Yeah, because, I don't want to get stuck. No, they tangle up in the other lines. So oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh, oh, come on, Blake. You're having fun there, Blake. <laughs> yeah. All right, sweetie. That was a fun hit, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I did what Dale told me to put my finger on the line. Oh, she's got a burbot. <laughs> what is that? Blake loves those. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Well, you know what that is. That's a lawyer. That's a, what we catch up in Canada. Oh, they the eat. Eel pow? Eel pow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she hey, wants to hold that. Hey, no, Dale. <laughs> you, you know my buddy 
Pete Mena and Rob, right? Yeah. When we go up to Canada every year, we purposely fish for those now. They're so this good. back strap, if you can hold it's them incredible. steady, this back strap right here, yeah. these are freshwater cod. And what you do is take that back strap, and there's no bones in it, and you, you boil it in seven up for about five minutes. Yep. And it tastes like lobster. lobster. It really I mean, is. Poor man's lobster. Hey, look at that. Our buddy Travis, another assistant guide taking a break in the shack, huh? <laughs> oh, it's cold out today. Yeah, it is cold out. <laughs> but these are a lot of fun, aren't they, buddy? Oh, exactly. They put up a great fight. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's coming down here. Okay, there he is. Oh, oh, oh. And look at how clear that water is. Oh, Let's that's see. a little better one, Trav. Oh, that is a good one, Travis. All right, buddy. <laughs> that's a dandy. Can you grab him? I got him. Here's a big one. You know, sit back up here, if you would, buddy. A couple of years ago, Dale had kind of like... Uh, a clapper thing there, you know, like a device that you could grab them out of the hole. You guys don't have those anymore, huh? We, I got them all. They're sitting in one of the shacks. Okay, but hold that one up for the folks to see. Now, is that above average, Travis? I would say so. That's one of our, our better ones that I've seen out here today. Yeah, and on a cold front like this, the fishing's tougher, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been tough with the weather the last couple days. Yeah, and that's why I like these nice warm shacks. Exactly. <laughs> you're actually giggling. Yeah. Now, you're going to have to grab this fish because I don't have enough room to squeeze into that area there. Dale is out checking uh, on his clients. Okay. Don't lose this fish, though, Blake. A uh, lot of pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. These are really fun to catch because, yeah. again, they're down so deep. Yeah, and he was right on the bottom. Okay. Let's see now. How are you going to do this? Oh, you did. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, they are slippery. They're slippery like a trout, you know, to try and grab them. Oh, gosh. I've so never just, done this before. Okay, back, back of the head. Yeah, there, that's pretty good grab right there. Oh, show the folks before you take the hook out. Well, it's, okay, one second. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, you got to be strong. They're <laughs> now, <laughs> what did that bite feel like? Very, very subtle. But I was... I was asking Dale um, how close to the bottom. He goes, you might as well just bounce the bottom the whole time. What are you in here warming up again? Hey, Blake just caught one when you were outside. Oh, that's good. I rather catch him in here than outside. No kidding. Be out, be outside hopping around. Ooh, here he comes. And, uh, you know, this is so much fun watching these in this crystal clear water, too. That's another nice one. Good job, man. Come on back up and sit down here so we can see you. That's a beautiful whitefish right there. Now, we should tell the folks that there's a line of what they call pin bones on the sides of these fish. Yes. And and uh, where you have them cleaned up here, do they take those pin bones out? Oh, yeah, at the at the lindles yeah. down the road. They, right. You get a, a boneless fillet there. Oh, you do? Yeah, I mean, it, it comes back. It's ready to be fried or baked, whatever you want to do with it. Well, Dale had to go out and help some clients catch yeah. some fish, so we should talk about what we're doing here. We're fishing in actually, uh, I think it says 48 feet of water on a hummingbird there, and we're using the Acme, what's it called? Hyper rattle. The hyper rattle, yep. the, 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 that's about this big. Yep. And what you do, it, it's a heavier bait, so you let it go all the way down? All the way to the bottom, and also it helps to pound the bottom with that heavier uh, lure. Right. You can bring the fish in. And all you have to do is a very small, like, motion with your rod and the lure, and they'll bite it. Well, what Dale said, folks, and this makes a big difference, is to hold your finger on the line like that, because you're fishing in 48 feet of water, you want to be able to feel better. So yep. hold the line like that on your finger, Once and just slowly jig, and it, it actually feels like just a little extra weight. Yep. It's, he said, once you feel a little bit of resistance, set the hook. Well, I'm very lucky to be at the Kettle Marine Boat Show in Jackson, Wisconsin. And a great way to serve a bunch of people is to cook a bunch of Johnsonville brats. Also, you can put them in a beer bath and serve them with onions, right? And we are actually sponsoring the Slinger High School Outdoors Club. Yeah, All right, can you take a bite? I sure will. How good are those? Mm. Mm. Johnsonville brats. All right, everyone. Does everyone want to take a bite? Yeah. Yeah? Mmm, Johnsonville brats. We were fishing Door County out of Sand Bay Beach Resort, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis.
live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it and that can cause permanent damage to our boat but you have a solution we do have the solution it's called the aquajet johnson pump washdown system and it is the strongest psi washdown in the industry without having to haul any power washers down any hoses hook up you're using the lake water filtering the lake water leaving your boat completely sparkling clean wow i can't wait to get johnson pumped <laughs> Oh, oh, nice bass, <laughs> sound bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm living some bullets. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. See? Oh, All right, nice. Blake, look at that. And you've really slowed down your presentation. Yeah, too. I've, I've gone to a little, just a little, what I call a shimmy, where you're just an inch up off the bottom. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Ooh, here he comes. Which, which is just a real light lift. You know, we got so much, so much high pressure. Oh yeah. That's nice a fish, fish, Dale. Too. That's a dandy right there. But yeah, that's, it, that's a nice, nice that's fish. a really nice fish but it, but in the high pressure cold front situations you were just going to say the shimmy what is a shimmy yeah so basically when you find bottom yeah really what i'm doing is what i mean by shimmy is i just this is it okay just, just maybe a half inch just one inch and i'm and i'm an inch off the bottom <laughs> all right <laughs> <That Blake. happened. laughs> this hey. one feels a little nicer than that one i caught earlier now remember the grab. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. Bring him in, bring him in, don't lose him. I That's won't, a I beauty won't. right there, Blake. Thank you. Look at the size of that one. All right. You know what's kind of cool about this? It, it, you know, Dale's guide service. Yeah. If you come up here, you'd, like we showed, obviously, you can stay warm and comfortable and you get good transportation out here. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if you're coming for meat, you don't, you, you, don't, you don't have to feel guilty about keeping your 10 fish either. No, you know? absolutely. There's a lot out here. And yeah, the wacky walleye service is awesome. They make sure you're warm, comfortable, got all the equipment you need to catch fish. And like you said, you don't have to feel guilty about keeping it. I mean, that's a beautiful whitefish right yep. there. Now, how did that bite? That was... Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Travis, help us here, buddy. Come on, get in here, buddy. She's got a whitefish in the head. In the head. In the, in the hair. At least it wasn't when you hooked me in the ear. No, look at that. Gross. <laughs> I'll have to take a shower at Sand Bay Beach Resort tonight. Yeah, and I want to mention Travis took the fish off, so now you just got to yeah. worry about getting the... Uh, yay. yay! My hair lady will not be happy about this. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> well, hey, that was a nice white fish. It was, <laughs> worth, worth, it was worth a hook in the hair. I guess so. At least it wasn't in the ear. I love having you guys come in and visit. You know, I get pretty yeah. frustrated with this, and it, you don't even use a locator do you oh no it's just all by field touch. Ooh, look okay. at this guy that's another beauty right. oh but no you don't use a locator it's all by just feel yeah yeah it's kind of just having confidence in what you're doing and knowing that the fish are there yeah right yeah a lot of times we can hit an area we can jig it for five minutes and if we don't get a bite we know to move have you slowed your presentation down i did with, with this high pressure and this cold front just slowed it down a little bit more and you're hardly feeling that bite hold that one up i mean that's another beautiful fish it's nice good average size Whitefish. But I was I was saying to Travis before, you know, normally you I fished out here with you before for a whitefish. On a normal warm day, we're moving hole to hole instead of being stationary in a shack. Oh, and then you catch a lot more fish, I think, when you move around. Yeah, they're more spread out and everything. It's tough right here when you got five people fishing for the same couple fish swimming through. Hey. Oh, look at that. My buddy Dale Strohshine. Woo, I tell you. How you doing just, there, buddy? I was just out checking on Travis. Man. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It, That's it a nice one there, cold buddy. cold out there, John. Those are just beautiful size fish. Oh. You know that? Get him here and grab the mid-body again. There we go. So is that how you spend your day, though, going shack to shack and, and yeah. checking on folks? you know, and... I mean... I'm doing less and less of it if I can. You know, that's why I got Mark and Travis and Mike and Brad. And 
you know, these guys do a lot of it. Ah, look at my buddy over there, man. How you doing there, Strobo? I'm doing all right, John. Does that feel pretty good? Yeah. Ooh, feels... Look at the bend in the rod, dude. Yeah, this... Oh, this oh little... got him, got him. Bigger fish. Oh, my gosh, look at the size of that white fish. <laughs> that is a giant, Dale. That is an absolute giant, buddy. I wow. mean, they don't get much bigger than that, do they? Yeah, I've seen them bigger, but, boy, it... not... I mean, that's a good fish. Are you kidding me? That's a gorgeous yeah. white fish. And you know, for folks that haven't caught a fish through the ice before, I think that's oh. what makes this white fish fishing so appealing. Don't <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah, you know, no. Do you have beginners come out? Oh, yeah, a lot of times. I mean, we get people, I just had some guys in from Seattle, and uh, they've never done it a day in their life. And how did they feel when they did it? Yeah, they, they, they enjoyed it, man. I mean, they really had a good time. That's a beautiful. That is show. a gorgeous gorgeous whitefish. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. 25% off the Mr. Twister Tails on sale starting at 321. Each week I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $20 on the Daiwa AccuDep Plus B Series Spin Cast Reel on sale for $59.99. And save 20% on the Seaguar 150 Yard Smackdown Braided Fishing Line on sale for $19.99. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis Nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use. And a telescoping handle. Learn more about Portis Nets at clamoutdoors.com. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle, it's a play off the of Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors all right all, <laughs> all right, right Blake. Blake. there we go yeah. it's been yeah. slow for the last half hour you know figured yeah. out. okay here he comes oh, he's oh. Right. Let's see. oh, oh yeah there you go right. that that's a beauty. Oh, that's another. Now that's above average, right? Yeah, Dale, right that's, there. That's another nice one, though. <laughs> Get one finger in there and hold them up for the camera. There. Nice. There you go, Blake. <laughs> you know, it's not fast fishing today, right? No, it's slow and steady. You know, fish here, fish there. And uh, oh yeah, but I mean, there are days, and I have been here on days, Mark, where it, you literally will catch six fish in a row, and then it'll rest for a while and then another group will come in they move around a lot right oh yeah absolutely that's a schooling fish are constantly moving you know they're part of the trout family they, they like to move well they are part of the trout family I, absolutely i yeah. did not know that yeah. and, and you know really you know 20 years ago we never thought about whitefish here you no, know it, uh, and it's been a population explosion on the bay right yeah it, it really has do you see them in the summer too you know we do but they're pushed out a little deeper yeah it, there's more fun to fish to fish walleyes and small yeah, but yeah, hold absolutely. that out that, that yeah. Now that's some beautiful yeah. eating fish right there, man. Yeah, absolutely. Johnny, I'm okay. I, I don't really love that. I don't want to get oh, tangled. Right. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to catch a fish. Only you guys can catch fish. But it, it, there, it is a technique. For, let's see. Ooh, here you go. Well, that's another nice one. Yeah. Um, no, there is a, folks, you come up here, you really got to pay attention to what you guys are teaching. There's no doubt in my mind. There is a technique to this. And I think we're handicapped today because we have to be in a shack you know yeah you know but then you guys come in here and you catch them you know <laughs> that's the that's what's frustrating you know it's the years of experience Blake's <laughs> caught him on that side you've caught him on this side Travis has been in here catching them and Strohshine has caught him on that side yeah I'm the odd man out I guess but you know I, yeah. I, they are fun when you get them hooked oh they are you can catch a numerous amount a lot of fish in a day 
right? You taught her, didn't you? You did. Good. Oh, my technique, your technique. And, you know, Dale was doing the old wheel technique, and your technique is up and down. Yeah. That's awesome. And that's our, ooh, look at that one, Blake. There ooh, you go. That's a fatty. Oh, hey, way to go. Oh, there's Here, get him over here, buddy. Let's see him. There we go. Now, Blake, the hold on these, as we talked about all program. <laughs> They're slippery. Yeah, I got one in my hair earlier. Yeah. I heard that. Uh, but, no, it's been really a fun day. And, yeah. and, and, you know, I'm glad that you and Travis stopped in to visit us because every time you stopped in, you got a fish. <laughs> yeah. No, Blake did pretty well today, too. I guess I stunk. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Dale Strohshine guides Olive Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Dale a call. That phone number is 920-743-5731. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate as well as the air ride seating, things like that, that really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Okay, well, this is a day of white fishing in our shack. I did not Woo! contribute anything on these, Dale. But one thing I can tell you for sure, getting outside right now for the first time today is nasty. What do you think, 20 below zero wind chill? I don't chill? know. I could tell the temperature was steadily Whoa. just oh my gosh. dropping. You know? Well, that's a beautiful day of fishing. Yeah. Do you have any openings, by the way? I believe we do. You know, I mean, there's always, it's best during the week, John. Yeah. The weekends, I think, are pretty full already. You know, we're doing a lot with different high schools. Um, we got a lot of high schools coming in this year. Right. Working with the younger, these outdoor clubs, which I think is fantastic. But people should call. Yes, absolutely. All right. Hey, thank you, buddy. Yes, I appreciate thank you. it. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.